What's up, YouTube? I'm Steve Cash. Ooh, a joke. Um, what do cows do for fun? I don't know. You know, I keep running into those reaction videos of people who are watching uh, Two Girls, One Cup for the first time. And uh, if, you've never, if you've never seen that video, uh, don't search for it. Don't even waste your time. It's just, it's disturbing as hell. But anyway, there's a lot of those videos and they're really, really funny because people just completely lose it sometimes when they're watching. They're always just kind of sitting there and then they get that look on their face like they just saw a ghost. And then they look like they're about to puke. They're hilarious. Watching those reaction videos really makes you want to watch the video, but but don't. I was actually going to do my own reaction video, and I did, but I never uploaded it. <laughs> I was also going to do um uh, my own little parody of Two Girls One Cup called uh, One Redneck One Cup. <laughs> it's water tastes like shit. I'm not even hungry anymore. Ew. But I never got around to it. Hey, you guys remember that uh, that video I did called Wake Up Kitty with Sylvester? Um, for some reason, a ton of people on YouTube have stolen that video and posted it on their own channel, and they're getting more views on it than I ever even freaking did. But I'm not mad about it. Nothing really makes me mad. I don't think I get mad. Except in traffic. Why are you stopping? Why are you fucking stopping? MOVE YOUR F***ING ASS! You stupid sucking mother piece of f***ing dog ass prick mother What the f***? What the f*** are you f***ing doing? F*** you! I hate traffic. You ever been driving down the road, it's like 55 miles an hour, and you're going about 57, right? Already speeding a little bit, and you got that asshole behind you that thinks that 55 is code for 95. He's flying up behind you being all stupid and shit, only to go ahead and risk his life, burn $20 in gas to fly around you so that like two minutes later and a mile and a half up the road you can be sitting next to him at a stoplight. Way to go, buddy. Oh, one more. Yeah, um, a lot of people don't know this and it just blows my mind because it's one of the things that I always remembered from Driver's Ed. Um, if you are taking a right turn and you end up in the left lane, or if you're taking a left turn and you end up in the right lane, you are an idiot. But it's okay because there's there's a really simple solution for this. All you have to do is drive to the nearest Department of Motor Vehicles, walk up to the counter and hand them your license and politely explain, apparently I am not ready for this kind of responsibility. Then put your car up for sale, walk the fuck home, find a dark corner, crawl into it and spend the rest of the day thinking about how stupid you are. Not that I'm any better. Just last week I was uh, out in Nampa and I was going to take a left hand turn and for some stupid reason, I pulled as far left as you could go, all the way into the right lane of oncoming traffic. But luckily, the authorities were there to correct me. This redneck cop come walking up for me, saying, Son, what the hell were you thinking? But I didn't miss a beat. See, uh, I looked him straight in the eyes, dead serious, and said, Well, sorry, I just moved here. You can't expect me to get used to it overnight. Um, he didn't buy it. I got me a ticket and a lecture. It's time for the joke. Okay, so what do cows do for fun? Yeah. They go to the movies. Be honest with you, I don't think I've ever read a joke on one of these that actually made me laugh. You think anybody's ever read a joke off a popsicle stick and be like, oh, I can't wait to tell all my friends. I'm doing it. It's ringing. Hey, Joey. Hey. Hey, it's Steve. Hey, um. Hey. What, what do cows do for fun? I said, what do cows do for fun? They go to the movies. You what? You, dude, I didn't even know she died. What are you at? You're at the funeral right now? Oh, dude.
Dude, I am so sorry. Stupid fucking popsicle stick. Man, I feel like an asshole. Speaking of assholes, remember my little black cat, Sylvester? And uh, it's been about a month since we got our new kitty, Ibanez, and uh, since then, Sylvester has done everything he can to kill that poor little kitten, but uh, you know, in the last week, something, something's definitely changed with him. Now before you go calling me an asshole, think about this. Those two little bastards kept me up all frickin' night last night, fighting, scratching, meowing, running across my frickin' head, and I'll be damned if they're gonna sleep all day peacefully today just so they can do it again tonight. Uh-uh, I don't frickin' think so. I'm keeping them up all day long. And are you sleeping? You get the hell up right now. <laughs> <laughs>